What if the secret to unstoppable plant growth, richer soil, and faster results has been hiding right in your lawn all along? Not in a store-bought fertilizer or a slow, smelly compost heap, but in your grass clippings. The truth is, composting is old school. It works, but it's slow, labor-intensive, and nutrient wasteful. I've found something faster, cleaner, and far more powerful, fermenting. The ratio matters. Aim for about 60% grass clippings to 40% water by volume. Fill your bucket about three quarters full, leaving a couple inches of headspace. For every gallon of total mixture, add two tablespoons of molasses and one quarter cup of rice, wash water or EM, as your inoculant. Mix it well, seal it up, and keep it somewhere warm, around 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 29 degrees Celsius, is ideal. Cooler weather will slow things down, but it'll still work beautifully. Within a few days, you'll see bubbles forming through your airlock and smell a pleasantly tangy, slightly sweet aroma. Think pickles or sourdough starter. That's the sign your fermentation is thriving. After about three to six weeks, the bubbling will slow down or stop completely. Open the lid and you should see golden brown clippings with that clean pickled scent. The pH should read between 3.5 and 4.0 if you test it, but you'll know it's right by the smell, fresh, sour, never foul. That's your signal that it's done and ready for action. This is where the magic hits your garden. You can use fermented clippings in three main ways, depending on what your plants need. First, as a direct soil amendment. Mix about one inch of fermented material into the top layer of soil per square foot. The acidity helps loosen compacted clay, while the organic matter improves water retention in sandy soils. Second, as a top dressing. Spread the fermented mix around the base of your plants, keeping it slightly away from the stems to prevent burn. Over time, it breaks down gently, feeding your soil with beneficial microbes and organic acids. Third, and this one's my favourite, make a liquid fertiliser. Strain the fermented liquid and uh, dilute it with water at a ratio of one part fermented liquid to ten parts water for general feeding. For more sensitive plants, you'll want to dilute it further to one part fermented liquid to twenty parts water. Use this as a soil drench or foliar spray during the cool parts of the day. The nutrients are immediately available, giving your plants a visible boost in growth and vitality. Composting loses nitrogen and, well, takes patience. Fermentation keeps every drop of nutrition intact while producing beneficial acids that help roots absorb minerals better. The beneficial microbes you're introducing through fermentation don't just feed plants. They transform your soil's ecosystem, building resilience against pests and diseases. The process is clean, compact, and perfect for small spaces. No turning piles, no odours, no pests. Even apartment gardeners can ferment kitchen scraps in small jars. Over time, fermented materials help build long-lasting organic matter, improving soil structure, nutrient cycling, and water-holding capacity far better than traditional compost. Consistently using fermented materials transforms your garden from the ground up. You're not just feeding plants, you're nurturing an entire living ecosystem of microbes, fungi and earthworms that work in harmony.
Over time, this process boosts soil fertility naturally, reduces dependency on synthetic fertilizers, and even contributes to long-term carbon storage in your soil. It's a win for your garden and the planet. If you've been struggling with slow compost piles or nutrient-hungry plants, this is your moment to try something different. Start fermenting your next batch of lawn clippings and you'll see the difference in just one growing season. Your soil will come alive. Your plants will respond with vigour. And you'll wonder why you ever wasted time turning compost piles. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Timeless Crops Haven and share it with your gardening friends. Together we can grow stronger plants, richer soils, and a greener planet, one fermentation bucket at a time.